What's up guys, it's Wilson, also known as Designed by Will, and in today's video we're going to be designing a Y2K logo and a Y2K design completely from scratch. Now without a further ado, let's get straight into it. Now the first thing you guys are going to want to do is just grab your digital or physical sketchbook. You can just draw this in Photoshop if you have a drawing tablet, but if not, I recommend just drawing this onto a piece of paper or drawing book, whatever you find most comfortable. Now you're just going to want to grab a pencil and just sketch in your roughs and then go over it with a dark pen or dark um, outlining brush just so you can get the purest scan or photo of your image so you don't have to go in and play with the settings or anything like that um, in post once your designs are ready or you got them how you feel like you want them now this doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be a basic understanding of what you're going to want to do digitally now i've got pinterest open up and i'm just going through some references that i have saved from some cool artists on pinterest um, and pinterest is a great way to build mood boards and get ideas so i always have it open when i'm sketching um, just so i can have my creative juices flowing as i go through because sometimes you will get into a creative block and this is a good way to maneuver around that Next, you guys are just gonna wanna scan your image or take a photo of it, whichever way is easiest for you to upload an image or a photo of what you've drawn on a piece of paper. If you've drawn it digitally, then the step is not relevant, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to scan it. I'm using a scanner and by all means, you do not need a scanner. All you need to do is take a photo of it, but I have these resources available to me, so I'm gonna be utilizing them. Once you got your images scanned in, just by pressing scan, quick scan, whichever way, you don't have to really play with the settings too much because we don't want to get this image perfect. You just want to drag them into Photoshop. Now in Photoshop is, when we, is where we're going to do our final adjustments in terms of line work and also just placements of certain types and fonts. Now we've got this really cool swirlish font and um, there is some things wrong with it. Like for instance, where that E and the L meet, it kind of reads like an F. So we might need to change that again. And now I just got Pinterest open. I'm just gonna put it to the side so we can just have a look at it while we're designing. Now this step is pretty self-explanatory. All you're gonna do is basically grab a brush um, as thick as you want and just put the smoothing in Photoshop all the way to a hundred and you're just going to trace your text. Now there is an easy way of doing this when you're scanning in, you can just put um, image trace in illustrator and then have your font already traced out. But I just want this type to be a lot more cleaner because when you look at Y2K types, they tend not to be rough unless you wanted to have a really rough look, but most of them tend to be clean and alien like and very space like. So that's the feel I'm really going for in terms of all my types. Now you can see me trying out different variations of the E and in this uh, refinement stage in Photoshop is the most important, most important honestly, because you get to play with your type and expand it a little bit more. Now for my second piece, um, it's a lot more straight and like graffiti style, which I really enjoy when it comes to Y2K because mixing, mixing the two styles together is very cool. Um, and what I'm doing together is really straight lines is basically holding shift and pressing away from the anchor point. So I make a point first and then hold shift and then go to the end of the line and press it and it creates a really straight line in Photoshop. Now this way I don't have to play with smoothing or anything. I just get straight into tracing the type with my um, pen tool or brush tool. And it's the most efficient way with getting these really straight lines. Now that we got our final type or 
to a better stage you know our final type sorry we're just gonna do some final refinements especially with the castle on the top i forgot to introduce the brand the brand's called castle republic i'll, I'll edit this one i go back and the way we're going to do that is just create a new layer and um get a red brush and this is what we're gonna edit our layer on so you just turn down the bottom one get your red brush and start drawing on top now at first i was gonna retrace the whole thing and then i thought to myself this is digital what am i doing i'm crazy so then i just made a copy or duplicate of the original and then started drawing on top of the original one and then erasing that one and then i just um co converted it to a small object to bring them both together So now that we got our finals, um, we're gonna do one more type. And for this one, it's gonna be a little more classy. Just we're gonna make a basic little grid, uh, just a four line grid, like in your old um, learning how to write fonts in primary school type style. And then we're just gonna grab a brush tool. Now this is an angled rectangular brush. Um, and we're just gonna be sketching in our new font. So now once you got all your type, how you want it and the final look, I've just made the color black so it's easier to take a photo and it's easier for image trace on Illustrator. You just want to take a screenshot or either export it as a JPEG or a PNG, whichever you find easier. I just find it quicker taking a screenshot of it and just putting it straight into Illustrator because MacBooks make life easier like that. But I guess whichever, uh, relative way to do it in windows you guys can recreate that i guess but once you've taken a screenshot of all your images you just want to import them into illustrator once you've done that you just want to click onto the first one go to windows and open the image trace panel then you want to press preview and then you want to go to threshold and set it to 229 or around that just to get the f um the full thickness without going completely black um and to get the full detail of the outline now you can edit this by clicking advance and playing with the uh what's it called the paths and the other one but you don't really have to do that especially when you're drawing with type just setting the threshold high enough should be good enough to the point where you don't have to edit too much of it now we've got our type we're just going to make a duplicate by dragging and pressing option or command um whether you're illustrator or whether you're on mac or windows and we're just going to expand it and create these into one shape using our um, shape builder panel on our properties now once we've done that we can start playing with how we want this to look in terms of y2k now at first i just thought of doing a nice little quick y2k type and this is very simple i'm not going to speed past this one because i want you guys to see how to play with path offset path and stuff like that i'm just looking for references currently and you see how that one has the outline we're just going to recreate that look because i think it's the most easiest look in terms of y2k first thing you're going to want to do is just make a duplicate go to object path offset path and set that to around 25 is my usual and then make sure the joint is on round and not meter but <laughs> i guess i forgot to change that then once you've done that you just want to go to your shape builder panel on and make it into one shape then you're going to do the same thing but then this time the offset's only going to be 10. then you want to select the whole thing go to pathfinder and click the second one because then it's going to create an outline it's going to cut the inside out like you can see the example there in the little box, it shows you where it's gonna cut out. Then you wanna make sure everything is aligned and there you have your final Y2K look. Now that is the quickest Y2K look you can get. Now it's not the best one, so we're gonna play with it a little bit more following those exact steps. Now if I am going too fast, make sure you just slow that down and you will find um, a very slow version of how to do that uh, because I don't know how I can make that slower than that already is. 
Now this is going to be a level 2 look for Y2K. So the first thing we're going to do is grab Republic just in a regular typeface that I've got. Um, and we're going to put it in between Castle. So it's going to read Castle Republic, but it's going to have a more cyberpunk look. Um, rather than just that graffiti outline that looks kind of boring the, th the first thing you're going to want to do is just space it out so it covers the whole type and make sure it's centered because this look only looks good when it's really centered um, and the best way to do that is just change the color and make sure you can see it and then use the align tools in illustrator to assist you in centering the object itself then you want to um, hold republic and go to type uh, actually, it doesn't look too good. Cool. Just space that out a little bit more. Don't be scared to expand your um, typography, especially when you're in situations like this to make it fit towards your style. Make sure everything can fit towards you because you're the controller in this situation. So once we've got that done and aligned again using the align tools, like I said before, sometimes you can use your eyes to align it if it doesn't look too good. Go to path, offset path, just on the type itself, not the actual custom type that we've made. And just have a look at it. Um, and we just want to set it to the point where it cuts out parts of castle, but we can still read castle. So that's what I'm playing with in terms of the offset. I'm going between 18 and 20 just so I can find the perfect one now I'm gonna set this one to round because it has a better look and a more clean look um, because those edges on the type are kind of rounded and not sharp so we want to keep that design language um, with this whole font in itself next we're gonna highlight the whole thing grab the pathfinder tool and select a different color and then we're just gonna highlight the parts of black that are showing in between the yellow um, these are gonna be the visible um elements uh once we get rid of the yellow path uh, offset path and that's going to build the logo in itself once you've done that you just want to correct um click the direct selection tool and just click only the offset and delete it from the actual design and then you're going to be left with these little black outlines now those black outlines is where we're going to have to delete that's why we clicked a different color for our um shape builder tool so we're just going to delete them and now it creates like almost a perfect outline where we've done that and that's how you build a shape now we can go through and edit parts of those orange if it's sticking out and you don't think it's needed just grab a selection tool and just completely delete it whatsoever but now we're just going to go to the pathfinder and just make it one object just so it reads better and once that's done, we're going to be doing the exact same steps we've done before. We're going to go up to path, offset path, and then edit it to make it look like the outline. And that's essentially design one complete. Now we're going to move on to the next one, and it's going to be essentially the exact same steps. For this one, we're going to be using the Oasis Planet Pack or the Oasis Star Pack just so we can get some visual elements to break it up a little bit because if we just keep using type it's gonna look a little bit boring and repetitive so same thing we did before with the other one path offset path and then we're gonna grab a different color and just this time we're gonna highlight the stars because those are gonna be the elements we want to see and the rest of it are going to be the rest of the stars is going to be cut out Once we got the type how we want it, this time we're gonna go to effects and press arc. And we're just gonna play with it a little bit so we can get it a little bit more bent or a little bit more circular to add a little bit more flavor to the actual type itself. Cause having it straight like that was kind of boring. So I'm just experimenting with it. I might crush it a little bit, like squish it down. Just cause when it's super tall, it looks kind of awkward. Um, and yeah, that's design two. For design three, it's gonna be a little bit more um, lovey dovey and this is going to be the design I progress with when we make our actual Y2K designs
this one i'm just going to be grabbing an element from the oasis stars pack and it's this little star heart one making it larger and i'm just going to make sure i expand the object so we can play around with that the oasis stars are not expanded so you guys can edit them in yourself and that was the main idea for the oasis stars uh, as opposed to oasis planet which are all expanded objects so you can't really edit more so just place into your design and play with you can edit them but it's not as free as oasis stars and I really like how this um, heart just sits perfectly in between the S and the T and that really inspired me for this whole design. So this is going to be the main element for the, the Y2K design itself. And those are our final typefaces. Now, what do you guys think? Personally, I like design three and that's gonna be the one I develop on and make the Y2K design four. Design one is also very cool, but I didn't really like the techno aesthetic at the moment. Design two is kind of iffy and it would really work more so as like a keychain or a stick or something like that, as opposed to a logo design. Design three just looks complete and looks well put together compared to the other two so now that's going to be the main reference point for the rest of the design in terms of the y2k and i am going to fast forward that part a little bit just because you guys can see what i'm doing and it's mostly going to be drawing and sketching so it's not going to be really something you guys can really learn but just more so watch the progression happen as it goes through
I really like this heart and it's going to be a nice little sleeve piece for our design. Um, but obviously we can't really take it and just copy and add it to our design because it's one that's illegal and one that's very scummy. So we're just going to more so use it as inspiration for our piece. We're going to trace over the image, but we're going to completely change the trace itself. It's not going to be the same. It's more so going to be following the nice and curvy like flames of our design. So that's going to be the main point of reference for this cross piece. So once that's finished, um, we basically have our designs ready more, so to speak. I'm just looking through Pinterest in case I want to add something. Um, this is very like Ed Hardy type design um, that you guys can see. Really reminds me of that Harley Davidson flames and love and crosses and stuff like that. Jesus and all that. Um, we're just going to be outlining path, offset path, the same thing we've done with the type to the actual designs themselves. And then we're just going to put them into Photoshop. Um, and that's when we're going to do our final type using a styles. I've just released a new style pack for you guys. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Arcadia and all the styles are references of like um, 90s and early Star Wars type um, typography and also Japanese um, game type so that was the main reference point for all these styles and you guys can just click and drop straight into your Photoshop um, Files and change the look of your whole design just by one click. So we're going to be going through that right now So the first thing you guys want to do is just go into Illustrator press command C and then go into Photoshop and command V make sure it's select to library or layer sorry and it'll, Illustrator will automatically copy over the layers from um, Illustrator into Photoshop for you guys. And it's so convenient, especially when it comes to editing different multiple stages of the type um, with the layer styles. And this is a very important step. Or you can individually import each selected, um, each selected line if you want to. That's gonna take you so long. So I recommend you guys go into Illustrator and make sure you clean up your files and group the things where you want it to be grouped together. So make sure the main type is in one group. And then that way it makes it a lot easier to just play with um, layer styles in Photoshop like I've just done here. And this is really nice to play with, especially when it comes to Photoshop. Like these layer styles are so convenient with designs and you can literally change the look of your whole concept just by one click. Now Arcadia, like I said before, is based off films like Dune, Star Wars, and early 90s hip hop style like typography and Japanese style games before they go all modernized. And it just creates this really nice look for your typography is if you click the right one, um, and there is, like I said before, a style for every mood of design. Like Everyday Lay Styles V1 was the introduction into this. So we're just going to do the same thing to this design. We're just going to Command C, go into Photoshop, press Command V, make sure it's on layers. Just ignore the message. And then we're just going to scale it down so we know it's fitting onto our page. And I've just noticed we've completely forgot something. So <laughs> this is why it's really convenient. You can go back and make sure you highlight everything, especially that little cross on the top there. And then just scale it down like we did before. Make sure it's centered. And now when we go into the layers, it automatically shows us where everything is because everything's been grouped 
into the right spot which is very important especially when you're doing these effects using these layer styles and we're going to be clicking the same layer style we did as a typography and make sure it all correlates like you can see me just going through my mouse and looking at which one looks best and even if i want to keep the outline or not so yeah this is it that's the whole design basically just make sure you make the design put it in and using a layer style now we're going to just do the mock-ups to finish this design off because we're already running to 30 minutes now with the mock-up itself we're just going to keep it nice short and sweet um same thing front back graphic put it on the side the sleeve graphic this is where i wanted to put the sleeve graphic and the main logo is just going to be very big um the way i'm doing it is just clicking the files that we made and just dragging them in command v command c copy and paste in photoshop and then just transforming it so it fits into the mock-up nice and well <laughs> make sure it looks good the one thing i love about mock-ups is you can play with them and explore before actually committing and purchasing a sample samples are very expensive especially when it comes to hoodie it'll run you around what 70 usd maybe more including shipping which is around like a hundred and hundred dollars aud something like that australian dollar it's very example it's very expensive to do samples so that's where mock-ups come into hand and also a good way to communicate with your manufacturer I'm just aligning it, making sure everything looks good. I think this is always a tricky part, making sure the front matches the back, especially with the sleeve designs. That always offset a little bit, either to the left or to the right, honestly. And finally, that's gonna do it. That's the final design. Now, if you guys wanna check out the some of the um, Photoshop or project files for this project that are on studio will patreon um, the draft uh, Version of these layer styles was uploaded to my patreons so they could try it out and This style is in there so you guys can play with it and enjoy it as much as you guys want and That's the final design. What do you guys think? How did I do? Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Let me know down in the comments uh, and without further ado, this has been Designed by Will and how to make Y2K designs completely from scratch. Let me, let me know what you guys thought. And I would love to see your examples of using these layer styles and these Photoshop effects in your designs. Just make sure you tag me um, in your design so I can see them on Instagram, etc. And that's been it. I'll see you guys when I see you. And make sure to check out my socials at Designed by Will. Peace.